everybody, this is Hobbit, and I just wanted to do a, a quick rundown um, and give you a little more detail on the camp kitchen. Finished that today. Wanted to go over a couple of things specifically because I've gotten a lot of questions on Instagram, um, mainly about packing, uh, how everything folds up, and, uh, and some of the, the parts and the materials that I use specifically. So uh, in this video, <clears throat> I posted just a quick little summary uh, earlier, and uh, so I just wanted to cover a few things specifically and kind of go over the whole project. Hopefully you guys, you know, can try it out and uh, make use of some of these ideas. I think this is going to be pretty, pretty awesome at the campsite. Here is an idea of uh, what everything kind of looks like all together in a, a typical setup that we have uh, when we go camping. Um, we got, I use this uh, griddle right here and I should probably just do a totally separate review on this thing because it's amazing. Um, it's a Royal Gourmet three burner grill um, and it's it's awesome. And I wanted this uh, close to the sink and uh, so was able to achieve that. And usually we uh, we have this little caddy here and we kind of keep, um, you know, wipes and sanitizer and bug spray and uh, dish stuff there. And so this is kind of uh, the setup that we would have um, at a campsite. One thing I wanted to talk about really, really quick is um, just sort of as a tip, I use these little curtain rings um, with clips. Uh, and I'm sure that if you've done any camping, um, when you try to have stuff like this, either paper towels or uh, if I were to just hang a, a, a rag right there on that, that rack, that towel rack, um, invariably it would fall off uh, and, and hit the ground. So I found that um, you don't even have to take this rag off. You know, you can just use it like this, dry your hands and just keep it hanging there. Um, so I think that's pretty, a pretty good idea. Um, it's also good for utensils like this um, or, you know, oven mitts or whatever. Um, but you can pick that up at Walmart for just a couple of dollars. Before I get into the uh, kind of breaking everything down and showing you how everything packs up, um, I've gotten some specific questions on some of the materials that I use. So I just want to cover a few things and, uh, and give you some more specific information on that. This is the first shelf here that uh, mounts onto the uh, onto the camper, and there's a little rail back there, and uh, I just mounted that to the back of the wood, and that just hooks on there. The main thing was these supports, uh, and these are these are critical. And um, and just a pointer here is um, these poles need to be a little bit longer than uh, than you plan or anticipate for. And the reason for that is um, you don't want to put too much stress on that bracket. Um, it's just fiberglass and it's not very thick. It's not like there's a lot to hold on to there. So by putting more of the uh, stress of the weight on those supports, um, you're reducing the risk that this thing might rip off the wall. So just uh, take that into account. One of the specific questions I've gotten is this hardware that I used. And um, I mentioned in a, another video, this is Bimini hardware for a boat. Um, and I love this stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of different fittings and uh, it's just amazing. And there's tons of uses for it. I actually got some new stuff today. Um, so just to cover quickly each piece, I put these on the ends of the pipe. These uh, fit uh, seven eighths uh, pipe or outer diameter pipe. Um, and these are stainless steel. You can get a pack of two like this for about uh, 10, 10 to $12. Um, you can get much cheaper than that, absolutely. Um, but in some other videos and some of the earlier videos, um, as I've, and I've explained other times, I'm cheap on some things and not cheap on others. And this is just one of those things where um, the risk of these plastic the plastic versions of this, uh, the risk that these will, you know, the end would break off is, is just too high for me. Um, you know, maybe I save a few dollars on the front end and it breaks and I have to buy the stainless in the end anyways. So, um, I just go ahead and buy this. Um, and, uh, I love these, uh, the, the base is mounted directly to the trailer and I just use some self-tapping, uh, metal screws. And um, you can also buy sets of two or uh, four or even more on uh, Amazon. And uh, I actually have some more and they come in this little box. 
and I'll just go ahead and open that right now. I'll do it one-handed. Um, this was about, I think, $12. Um, comes with uh, mounting screws. 12 pack, I'll tell you that. So each comes in this little Ziploc bag here. And I'm not gonna bother open that one handed, but you can tell what it is. It has the pin and the other side has this little lever that catches. So when you when you press it, um, you take this lever and, and it straighten it out like that, and then it just slides through. Um, and these are really easy to use. And I just, I love this, it's so convenient and um, easy to, to mount um, or to set up. And um, in other videos I've mentioned, I have three small kids and um, a wife who's not exactly a camper. So a lot of the setup that I do um, when we get to a campsite is just by myself. So I, I take that kind of stuff into account um, whenever I, I do a project, just thinking if I have to do this by myself, what's the easiest way I can do it. So, um, I really love this and, uh, this hardware is just awesome. You can, there's just so many uses for it. Um, the pipe itself, um, I mentioned this again in another video. It's literally just random things that I had laying around. This is a curtain or a, a closet rod and, uh, it just happened to be long enough. I cut two supports, um, and, uh, it worked perfect something else that I've gotten specific questions about is how I attach the, um, the sink portion or the, what I call kind of the leaf, um, to the primary shelf that's mounted to the, uh, the camper. And, um, I did that in two ways. I initially had uh, different ideas and sort of ultimately settled on this setup here. And basically what I've done is, um, you'll notice I have just two, uh, brackets, sorry for the shadow, um, here, and, um, I just put these wing nuts on it just for ease again, because, uh, I'm going to be setting it up by myself, and, um, and those are kind of the primary support, and you can see here where I've got, uh, bolts, um, and so I just did two of those, uh, and they're pretty thick, they're, I think they're probably 18 gauge or better, um, and the, the, you know, that was super easy. The other thing is I, I use these latches, these gate latches, and um, really the only purpose it serves, it doesn't serve any sort of like support um, function. It doesn't, I don't think it bears any weight. It might, but I don't think it does. But uh, for setup, I needed a way that I could do this with one person. And so uh, what this allows me to do is uh, when I'm setting this thing up, before I can get the bolts and, and you know, screw this all in, I don't want this laying on the ground or uh, falling. And so what I'm able to do is just hold it with one hand and I can hook these on and it just sort of hangs here. Uh, it's still supported, but it hangs here. And then um, it's really easy for me to put the bolts in. The other thing is that um, I, when I mounted these, I mounted them just a little bit snug so it takes a, just at least a little bit of effort to pull these out. Um, and it just kind of keeps that seam um, on top kind of tight, uh, which is what I wanted. So um, people asked about that and uh, those were about, I got the thickest ones you could you can find at Home Depot. And I think these were about maybe $10. Um, I don't recall, but, uh, they're really easy to mount. They come with hardware. And um, again, it was just more about a convenience type thing for me. So that's that. So beyond packing and how this folds up, the main question that I got from people on Instagram was um, about the legs. And um, what I chose to do is I don't have a, a drill press and you could probably make pretty easily some telescoping legs. Um, but because I don't have a drill press, there was no way in the world I was gonna be able to drill through metal um, and do so evenly. 
And so by using this uh, perforated tube like this, um, it these these holes are spread out uh, every inch. And so I can use these little um, D clips and easily telescope the legs. And I know that, you know, I can, both are gonna be even, um, whether I raise it or lower it, and it's gonna be really easy to, to get the pin through and all that. So that's why I chose to go with the perforated tubing. And it's really not that expensive. Um, the legs, I, I bought three links. I bought two sections, um, or two three-foot sections of the uh, inch and a fourth, which is the outer tube. And then I bought one three-foot uh, three section of the one-inch tube, which is the inner portion. And I took that and I just cut it right in half. So um, I've got, you know, 18 inches of inner tube, and I ended up cutting the outer tube at 28 inches. And um, I just, I think that, I thought 28 inches is probably safe for me to uh, to keep, that way if I have to put the, the inner tube all the way up, I'm probably gonna be level or close to it or something like that. So um, that's what I chose to do. I use these little leg supports. Um, I got these at Home Depot and uh, they weren't expensive at all. I think they were five or six bucks. Um, and I'll be honest, it actually took me quite a while to figure this out and get it, uh, get it basically mounted uh, just right where it works as it's supposed to work. Um, and uh, so just look at the diagram and, um, you know, kind of mess with it and you should probably be able to figure it out. I attached the, uh, the legs with just some little uh, hinges, like gate hinges, and, uh, you know, that was pretty easy. Overall, I'm, I'm really pleased uh, with the legs. I think this is, um, I think they're really sturdy. Um, I actually stood on this last night, uh, just just in case, um, and it's very sturdy. One thing I would say, just real quick, um, I forgot to mention, is um, I wanted to make sure that these legs could retract and extend, and I could do it uniformly at the same time. So what I did is I, I just bought one length of a uh, fourth of an inch uh, threaded rod here. And um, a fourth of an inch will fit perfectly in these holes. That's why I chose that. And um, just use a little cutoff tool and uh, cut the right length. And to give you an idea of how I got this set up, um, it's just a regular nut on the inner portion. And I have some nylon uh, lock nuts on the outside um, because I wanted this to kind of be a permanent fixture. And uh, it, you'd be amazed at how, how sturdy it makes the legs. It, they don't separate and all that kind of stuff. Um, just that one little uh, piece makes a big difference. So I would definitely, whether you use this method or some kind of method, um, I would try to, to brace the legs as much as you can because uh, you, you don't want all this uh, tumbling down at any point. But uh, those are the legs. I think this is going to be perfect. It's exactly kind of what I had in mind, and um, that's that. Before I break this down, I just want to talk about this really quick. I um, I just got this, you know, uh, I kind of pieced together this uh, drainage here for the sink. And uh, I, like I mentioned in the video, I got this sink. It's a bar sink uh, from Lowe's. And I chose to go with this over uh, some similar options on Amazon because it came with the sink, or it came with the faucet rather, and uh, kind of an all-in-one deal. And so, um, I just went ahead and, and went with that. And, um, I just hooked this up to a, um, to a garden hose and I just split the water, uh, the city water when I get to a campsite with a, uh, little valve splitter. And, um, I put this little adapter on here so I can just, uh, screw the hose right on and, um, and have water that way. Um, I always get the lid when I buy these buckets. And the reason I do that is, um, it's easy to just house everything and my kids would play in the water if I didn't have a lid. So, um, I just yeah, I keep the lid and I cut a little hole there for the drain. But, um, when I pack this all up, it's convenient to have the lid cause I can take it off and I put all the faucet and the, the drain and, and everything into the bucket. And it's just kind of a, 
um, I know where everything is and, and all that kind of thing. So that's just kind of a, a tip. Now I'm going to uh, to break this all down and uh, I'm gonna try to do a time-lapse video, but my uh, my stand isn't really cooperating. Here's what it looks like folded up. Uh, the legs fold up like so. And um, I'll just have like a bungee or something uh, to hold it down or whatever. Um, this piece will lay flat um, with the counter side down and then um, the sink portion will uh, stack on top of it. The only reason I've not done that right now is um, I put some more lacquer on this thing um, and it's really humid, and so I just don't want to run the risk of, um, you know, it being a little tacky and, um, uh, and messing that up. So I'm leaving it like this for right now, but, um, you get the idea. It folds up, lays flat. It fits perfectly in the camper. Um, I've, I've tried it already. So this is what it looks like, um, for those wondering. I took it all apart, uh, showed you what it looks like. Uh, a couple of things I would say about the time-lapse video. Uh, one... Um, it's pretty late at night right now. It's like one in the morning and my kids are asleep right right above me So I was trying to be like really quiet second about five minutes in um, my wife came out in the garage and uh, Told me that one of our kids was uh, screaming upstairs. So I um, had to deal with that the other thing is that the wall mounted shelf um, I've been putting some coats of lacquer on it and I put a coat on early this morning um, but it's, it's so humid here right now that it's still just a little bit, just barely tacky. Um, and so I, I'm not able to stack it the way that I would normally. And, um, but it stacks on top of each other and, uh, and folds away uh, pretty nicely. So I'm, I'm really pleased with the project. Um, it's a little, it's probably a little more cumbersome to put together and to, to pack and all that stuff. Um, then maybe some other options and I get that for me um, just because of my circumstances and our family and stuff and the importance of having a sink and and all that outside um, it's worth it for me and um, it really just makes the whole experience a lot better so I'm willing to to deal with the trade-off with a little bit of inconvenience uh, to the extent that people have asked me about packing the, um, this fits easily in the camper, I mean easy. Um, but what I will say is that um, I've got a pretty extended uh, trip coming up. Uh, it's a three night trip and um, we're gonna have all the kids. And so, you know, there's, we've got more stuff that we're gonna be packing. In those circumstances, um, I can always put it in the back of my truck if I need to. Uh, I know that's not the case for some people, but for me, um, if I need the extra space in the camper, I can just put this in the back of the, the truck and it's not a big deal. Anyways, I, I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, you try it out. Um, if there's a specific question or something that uh, you'd like me to, to address, please let me know. And um, as always, like, share, send us flowers. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys. Follow us on Instagram at Hobbit Nobbin. Appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.